Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, and I just want to uh, thank Chair Mallory for uh, showing up today. Um, I have a couple of items that I would uh, like to enter into um, the hearing record. Uh, one document is titled Examples of NEPA Process for ARA funded activities, and I ask unanimous consent to enter this into the hearing record. Great. Um, and the second is a report on um, an analysis of, um, of NEPA, um, also from the, uh, a report to the congressional requesters from the GO, GAO's office. Um, it is uh, I would like to ask unanimous consent to enter that into the record, and I have copies of them here with me. Without objection, so ordered. Great. So I, I do have to say I, um, I think that, and, and words like unprecedented were used, but you know, sometimes unprecedented is a good thing. It means you're um, showing courage. Um, and I know that um, other comments were made about um, sort of you enforcing unscientific agendas being prioritized by this administration. So I just want to know, do you believe in science? Yes, Congressman, I believe in science. I think that is fundamentally what we are trying to enforce. Yes. And um, I also think that it is okay to have uh, legions of advocates uh, who consider themselves eco-justice uh, advocates because I think our environment actually deserves advocates fighting on its behalf. There are some other things um, that um, were also stated in the committee uh, that I'm going to have to come back to, but I'm modulating my innards uh, to make sure that I say things that are allowed to be kept into the record. So, Chair Mallory, can you just please highlight some of the specific investments um, that have been made so far and how they are making a positive impact? Uh, thank you so much, Congressman. Um, one of the things I mentioned earlier that this administration is very focused on ensuring that the environmental protection ecosystem that's been created in this country is one that benefits uh, all uh, Americans, all communities. And so some of the key um, uh, investments from the, in, both from the Bipartisan Infrastructure Law and the Inflation Reduction Act include uh, addressing legacy pollution, include um, making sure that Superfund sites are, that there's additional money to clean up Superfund sites, dealing with uh, uh, lead in pipes, which is uh, an area in which the president has um, committed to removing all uh, lead service pipes across the country um, because that we know how toxic that is. Um, addressing uh, school buses, that electric school buses are now something that, that we've invested in. I was just in a community last week in which they were so excited because they're getting 28 new electric school buses and they talked not only about the pollution benefits but also what that meant in terms of em employment in the area because it was a school that's focused on jobs and also on uh, making sure that, um, that they're able to um, uh, reduce their cost associated with maintenance. Um, we also know that uh, we're doing work on air monitoring, that there are 132 uh, air, monitor, air monitoring grants that have been issued across uh, the country that allow for communities to be able to test what's in their air and whether or not to, to be able to start the process of addressing what's, what needs to happen in order to make them um, uh, their health better. So a whole range of things that have gone towards legacy pollution, but is, are also going towards the uh, energy economy uh, of the future, making sure that we have the kind of um, uh, improvements in communities all across the country in terms of uh, climate change and reducing pollution. Thank you. I, I wish I had time to ask you another question, um, but I don't. I just want to say I applaud the work that you are doing. Uh, I think we do need to be talking about health and the environment of people uh, living in communities across the country and also the, uh, the uh, health of our environment. Um, and also recognize that there have been historical inequities and injustices 
um, across this country where certain communities have higher levels of toxicity and then when there are greater pollutants and in other communities there are not. And we have to just say it, we have to continue to say it and we have to speak to it and we also have to pass legislation and talk about policy to create equities in those spaces where there are great disparities. And I hope no one thinks otherwise. Thank you, Mr. Chair, and I yield back.